So for some, this will be quite a familiar layout. You used end topology before. For others, this will be um, the first glimpse of the user interface of end topology platform. So as with traditional CAD packages, we've got some tools along these tabs on the top here. Uh, we've got some modeling options. And if we go a bit further down, uh, some design analysis, some specific tools for additive manufacturing, uh, but we can get into these a bit later. On the left here, where we would normally see a design tree in a traditional CAD package. In Entopology, we have a notebook. The notebook is made up of blocks and a series of these blocks create a workflow. So in front of us, we have these three brackets. This bracket has been imported as a step file uh, and it's a BREP model. So we can click on faces, we can click on edges and we can click on points. This uh, BREP model has been converted into an STL file, so we can import and export STLs from Entopology. Uh, we've also converted it into an implicit model. And this is the um, model that we're going to focus on in Entopology. So implicit is Entopology's native file format. And show you just how quickly um, implicit models work. I'm going to take this implicit model of the bracket, I'm going to drag it into this box here, and we're going to convert it into a gyroid and into a lattice structure. So something that would be quite complex in a traditional CAD package. In Anthropology, you simply drag and drop. And in less than a second, we've turned this bracket into a gyroid structure and into a series of lattices. So if you can imagine in a, a BREP model, plotting all of these edges, faces, and surfaces it could be a really complex task. The same with this, uh, with this lattice structure. And in here, we haven't just created a part, we've created a workflow. So if I get rid of my bracket, and instead do the same operation, my sphere, it's going to do exactly the same operation with my sphere, turn it into a gyro structure and into a lattice. 